Minecraft 1.19, the wild update. Welcome back, my name is Echo, and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Yes, I'm another YouTuber back with another breakdown and understanding video of what was announced during Minecraft Live 2021. So of course, we were given the disappointing news that the Deep Dark and the Warden has been further delayed until the year 2022. No! I did go ahead and focus and talk about all of that in a separate video. It's linked down below in the pinned comments if you missed that video. I want to focus on everything else that is going to be featured in this wild update. Let's kick this video off with this year's Minecraft mob vote. Of course, we had the Glare, the Allay, and the Copper Golem as our mob choices. Starting off with the first round, can we please get some Fs in chat for the Glare that only had 11.2% of the votes. So yes, it was yeeted out in the first round. That, of course, left us with the LA and the Copper Golem. Winning with 54.3% of the votes was the LA. This year, I voted for the Copper Golem, but to be totally honest with you, I was happy regardless of the LA or the Copper Golem. Now, as you can see here, it was claimed as the winner. The developers have said that the LA will be introduced in the 1.19 the wild update, which again is coming in the year 2022. So I know there's going to be a bunch of disappointed faces out there because the Copper Golem didn't win. Here's a reminder from Aurath, a Minecraft developer, that although the Glare and the Copper Golem did not win, does not mean in the future that they can't be introduced to the game. They go to this so-called ideas library. And to be honest with you, the Copper Golem is too good of a feature to never be introduced to Minecraft. I personally feel that Copper is still a little bit underwhelming in Minecraft, and I think this would definitely be a great feature in the future. So don't be too disappointed. It still has a chance in another update. So let's start off by going back to 2019 Minecraft Live, because during that event, the community had the chance to do a biome vote. That's when the Tiger Biome won. Coming in a very close second was the swamp. Video clip. Roll it. The biome vote is coming up at Minecon Live on September 28th. Let's learn more about the biomes. Is that a, a boat? Yes, this boat has a chest built in for all the cool things you find at sea. And look, it's our new friend, the frog. Ew! Actually, we're not that close. Here's a mangrove, a tree that thrives in the swamp. We should get out of here. That frog is looking at me funny. Oh yeah, uh, speaking of fun, watch Minecon live and vote on September 28th. Uh, uh, uh... So fun fact, that was actually the biome that I voted for. So I'm pretty happy about this next update. So yes, we are going to see the introduction of boat chests, mangrove trees, frogs, and so much more. Now, I will say it, this update is a lot more underwhelming compared to caves and cliffs, but here's my take on this. I feel like 1.19 is gonna be a much smaller update, and then in 1.20, it's gonna be the end update. That's just my personal take on this, because this next update is definitely gonna be a lot smaller compared to obviously the caves and cliffs and actually caves and cliffs has actually been spread over three updates we had caves and cliffs part one caves and cliffs part two releasing very very soon by the way and then caves and cliffs part three is basically the wild update because it's introducing the warden and of course the deep dark so i went ahead and cut down the whole entire minecraft live show into smaller video clips so everybody can understand exactly what is going to be added. Now, at this point, if you're still watching, could you leave a like? It took me quite some time to do this, and I've been awake for a very long time, making sure everybody understands what is going to be happening. The first video clip we have here is boat chests. Roll it. Yes, there are a lot of awesome things coming. The first of which is the boat with the chest in it.
Maybe it's just me, but that is a feature I'm excited about. And in fact, it's going to work incredibly well with Caves and Cliffs Part 2. Because as Hendrik said, the Minecraft developer in Caves and Cliffs Part 2, they've made rivers a lot wider and a lot longer. So the reason to have a boat is just like multiplied. And the fact that you can put a chest on it is even better. So super excited about this. The developers also confirmed that if you do have a hopper, like floating on the water and you go over it with your chest, yes, you can deposit your goodies. So excited about that. Next up, we have the mangrove footage. I have two separate footages here. So video clips, roll them. We are adding the mangrove tree to Minecraft. So as you can see here, this is a propagule and propagules grow from mangrove trees. They're actually like ready to grow uh, mangrove, mini mangroves growing from the mangrove. <laughs> and you can see here, the mangrove tree grows propped up on root blocks. Uh, it has vines hanging down from the leaves. The propagules are actually growing underneath the leaves. They actually grow from the leaves themselves. And I really like how the propagules are looking here. Why don't I just make a mangrove swamp biome where I'm completely surrounded by them? So as you can see in this video, walking around, you're just completely surrounded in the mangrove swamp. It's just mangroves as far as the eye can see, just like in real life and you have all the mangroves propped up on their roots, growing in the water, so you can take your boat underneath like Agnes likes, <laughs> and you're just completely surrounded by the awesome beauty of it. It's so beautiful. Oh, and I mean, during the sunset, every time I was testing, I would actually like pause the day-night cycle just to watch the sunset in the mangrove swamp. It was super beautiful. Not ashamed to admit it, so I googled what propagules are. Now, according to Google, mangrove seeds are technically called propagules. Because unlike most other plant seeds, mangrove propagules germinate while still on the tree. This is an adaption that helps them to grow rapidly upon falling to the soil below once they are ripe. So fun fact, Corey, who was the developer who was talking there, he explained that mangroves are going to be the first tree in Minecraft that you can grow in water, but also grow on land. But one thing I did notice is that the actual biome wasn't called a swamp biome. It was called the mangrove swamp. So does that mean we're still gonna have the regular swamps and they're gonna introduce a separate type of swamps, which is gonna be the mangrove version? Here's another fun fact for you. The mangrove tree is the only tree that can live in salt water and it actually extracts 90% of the salt from the salt water, of course, leaving it with the fresh water. Fun fact of the day right there. So one thing Minecraft players always want with a brand new tree is a brand new type of wood. Of course, in Caves and Cliffs Part 2, they introduced a new type of tree, but it's built with oak. And everyone was like, nah. We don't want that. So, good news. I can confirm that we will be getting new types of wood. Video clip. Roll it. Yes, the mangroves do come with a new wood type. And like always when we add a new tree, we are so happy. Like we get so many questions from the community like, will there be a new wood type? <laughs> and, and therefore we're so happy that we were able to add a new wood type for the mangroves. And look at it, I think it's really pretty. And you also don't see like all the blocks here. It's gonna be like a full set for the wood types. It's gonna be like doors and trap doors and so on. I'm curious on your opinions about that wood type. It's kind of like halfway between jungle and acacia, but regardless, a new wood type will be coming to Minecraft. Now, going back in reverse to the mangroves, to the swamp mangroves, did you notice on the floor that wasn't regular dirt? Well. They are in fact going to be adding mud and they are also going to be adding mud bricks as well. Two video clips. Let's roll them. I noticed that that was not dirt. Good eye, Lydia. <laughs> that was wet dirt, otherwise known as mud. <laughs> That's amazing. So you've actually added mud to do something really cool. Yeah, so we're adding really cool renewability mechanics to mud. The first of which is if you take a dirt block and pour a water bottle on it, then you can get more mud. And then the other one is if you take your mud block and you stick it on top of the dripstone, it will sort of like drip the water out of the mud and eventually dry it out, which turns into clay. And you're also using mud to make a new block. Yes, we're also adding mud bricks. 
So mud bricks are really, really exciting like building block. And as you can see here, the, the brick texture is actually different than the other stone bricks that we have in the game. So they're sort of smaller, more compact, but it is really cool like to build with. It matches a lot of different block sets, and I, I'm really excited to build with them. Can we all appreciate what we've just seen there? I feel like the whole entire Minecraft community has definitely overlooked those features. Mud blocks are coming to Minecraft, but the way you get them is really, really cool. It's dirt plus water equals mud, but it gets better. If you put that mud block on top of a dripstone and you let the water drip out of it, you get clay. That means we have clay farms that will be introduced to Minecraft. I know we've got lush caves and they're covered with uh, clay and you can find clay really, really easily, but you can put it on your doorstep and literally have as much clay as possible. Also, not to mention, we're going to have the introduction of mud bricks. I like the little hut that they built, and I would really like to see these old mud hut structures in the mangrove uh, swamp biomes. I think that could be a really cool idea. But honestly, lots of really cool information is coming out of Minecraft Live this year. At this point, I feel like I'm just going to say it. Why on earth are the developers not introducing the muddy pig? They're introducing mud. It would literally be the perfect combination. And I'd be so happy about it. Of course, the Muddy Pig comes from Minecraft Earth, that game that they discontinued not so long ago. Right. Last but not least, in terms of huge announcements, we have frogs. Yes, frogs will be introduced. Not just frogs. We're also going to be getting tadpoles. I got a couple of video clips here for you. So let's roll them. We definitely need something very cute. Yes. Well, very cute and quite derpy because we're adding frogs. Now, of course, yes, they're adding frogs, but they're also going to be introducing tadpoles. I just want to throw that in there because this next clip would not have made sense otherwise. In fact, I have two more video clips. Let's roll them again. And when a tadpole grows up, it will pick a variant depending on the temperature in the biome it grows up in. So, for example, if it grows up in a really cold place, it's going to turn into a snowy frog. Yeah, as you can see here. So. The frogs have kind of like two main systems. One is the tadpole system and the other one is the cold-blooded system. So the frogs are like the first cold-blooded animal in Minecraft. That's so cool. And, and we, there are three variants. Yes, it's going to be three okay, variants. Okay, so we've seen two. What's the third one? The third one is the tropical frog. Yes. So let's say you were venturing out into the desert or the jungle and you take your, your tadpole with you. And if it grows up there, it'll turn into a lovely tropical frog. And I, what I really love about the tropical frogs is how just relaxed they look. And they're like blending into the sand almost. They're just so relaxed, just chilling there. Yeah. The developers did a really good job on the model of the frogs. Now, as Lady Agnes explained, there is going to be three different types of frogs, three different variants. And that will depend on the biome that they grow up in. For example, you have the swamp version, which is the first one you've seen. You had a snowy one which of course was the white one and looked uh, really moody, to be honest with you. I would be if I was in the cold all the time. And of course you have the tropical one, which can grow up in things like deserts. She said that they've added like the cold blooded system. So I'm looking to learn a little bit more information about that. But here's the video clip of when they announced tadpoles. Yes, so, you know, all baby mobs in Minecraft are just like tiny versions of the grown ups, but with frogs, we're actually adding tadpoles. I really like the direction that they're going with frogs. So rather than just having a babier version of a frog and then a large frog, as you know, a frog starts from frog spawn, then it turns into a tadpole. Then of course you get the baby frogs and of course they grow up. I hope that they still have tadpoles and then smaller frogs and then bigger frogs. 
because I still like that system. Now, moving away from that, there is one more thing that they did announce that I really didn't expect, and that is fireflies, or some people call them lightning bugs. What do you call them? Anyway, video clip. Let's roll it. And you're adding another little, little tiny creature to Itty this bitty. update. <laughs> yes, the fireflies. So you can see them roaming around, adding a lot of ambience to the swamp making it feel just nice and cozy at night. But really, my favorite part of them is just making the world come to life, like feeling like there is life going on all around you. And <gasps> oh yeah, also their <laughs> frog food. Yeah, I forgot to mention that, their frog food. Poor fireflies. Yes. Yeah, but look how happy the frog is. So fireflies are gonna be a great ambience effect in swamps and hopefully gonna be in the mangrove swamp as well. Turns out they are going to be frog food. But I also hope we could do a couple more things with fireflies. Maybe we could put it in a bottle. I don't know, I really like the idea of putting it inside of a bottle and then placing it down in your build and you've got like a different kind of ambience effect. But yeah, I'm looking forward to learning more about that. I really don't know if anybody is still watching in today's video, but I wanna end this video by saying, yes, we only seen gameplay for the swamp biome, but no, it wasn't the only announcement, of course, for the wild update. Of course, we're gonna be getting the deep dark and the warden, like I mentioned, we did that in a separate video. We're gonna be getting all these changes to the swamps, the mangrove swamps, etc. But the developers have said they're gonna be introducing some kind of huge birch forest, but we didn't get any gameplay, which again was a little bit disappointing, and that's why a lot of people feel the Minecraft live show was a little bit underwhelming this year. We did, however, get a bunch of concept arts, and I just wanna show you them. They do look really impressive. And I really hope that they follow through with this. The birch forest looks absolutely stunning. And I'm super excited to see how that is going to turn out. It's not my favorite wood to build with. But it could definitely be a great addition to Minecraft. We've also got, of course, the swamps with the fireflies. And, of course, like the mangrove stuff as well. Overall, don't be too disappointed. I feel like there's going to be a lot more in this update that we just haven't seen. Because they didn't have time to prepare. Because, again, they're still working really hard on Caves and Cliffs Part 2. If you did make it to the end of the video, you're the MVP. Have a great day, and I will continue to keep you all updated as much as possible. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.